in there. Rosé tastes like pool water. Oh shoot. In my little filming room. <laughs> Somebody help me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going straight to the clearance section. I know things that go into clearance are either broken, expired, or just not selling well. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen right now with my face. I am going to do a full face of makeup using only Target clearance makeup. Wish me luck that things are not expired. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be part of the Dom fam. And no, it's not that Dom you're nasty. So you're gonna meet me in the car right now. We're gonna get this started. Hey guys, I'm going into Target and I'm gonna try to find a full face of makeup using only their clearance items. Wish me luck. Okay, so we found the clearance section and let's just see what they have. Kind of random, to be honest. There's like Revlon, Insta Filter, but then there's like all this other stuff that doesn't, that's not beauty related. But there's some good stuff here. There's this Super stay multi stick. We can use this for contouring, so I'm gonna grab that. And ooh, there's a concealer here. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. And what else can we find? Ooh, the number seven foundation. Yes, oh my gosh, this is a good brand. I love this brand. I'm gonna take this one. Ooh, there's glitter. Definitely want to grab this. Pixie's a good brand. I like their stuff. Definitely gonna take that. And then there is a, what is this? Is this a highlight stick? Ooh, grabbing this. Put it in the bag and basket. And then this right here is a bronzer. We definitely need a bronzer for sure. So I'm gonna take this guy right here. What else do we have? Brows, yes, we definitely need some brows. So I'm gonna grab this weird crayon thing, which doesn't look very promising, but I'm just gonna grab it because we need brows. And then we have this purple mascara from Revlon, okay. And Alba lotion. Is this even a primer? Okay, wait, it says that it wears well with makeup. Underneath makeup, it mattifies. So I'm gonna grab that as well. Oh my God, I feel like we're finding everything so quick. Okay, we need some fun stuff. What about this crazy lip right here? I think we should go wild, you guys. Let's try this lip because it's insane. I would normally never wear this lip and I'm wondering if that's why it's in the clearance section. This is a purple liner. We'll grab that. Purple liner, a regular liner, Starlet. I've never heard of this brand. And this powder right here, and a lip. I feel like everything is just right here in front of me. And this eyeshadow. If we can find a better eyeshadow palette, definitely picking that up. But in case we don't, I'm just gonna take this eyeshadow right here. <laughs> okay, I'm dropping things. So we're gonna try to look for an eyeshadow somewhere in here. <gasps> oh, another lipstick. Just in case the other lipstick doesn't go with our look, I'm gonna grab this one too. Why am I putting things back like I work? <laughs> Ooh, face cream. I don't know if I said I needed a lip liner, but I definitely need a lip liner. It doesn't match any of the lip colors we got, but we're just gonna put it in there. Is there anything else that we're missing? Ooh, we have this primer. Guys, there's literally nothing in this primer. Why are they even selling it? For $6? You guys gotta throw that out. Okay, now I'm looking for an eyeshadow palette. If I can't find one, I am just gonna use that little one that I had. <gasps> Ooh, that is not my color. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything that has to do with eyeshadow here. Nope. I literally fail at this so bad. I'm dropping everything. Everything's broken. There's so many people around me. I don't think we're gonna find an eyeshadow palette, so we're gonna just have to work with what we have. All right, you guys, that was it. We found all of the makeup in the clearance section. Now let's go try to figure out a look for this. Why am I not looking at you guys? You can tell I don't vlog at all. So we got all the makeup. We're ready to go and film a makeup look with it. It's random things. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Go back to the house and film this video. All right, you guys, I am back from Target. I went to two different Targets to try to find a full face. I have my bag right here full of stuff. I just got both bags and just put it in this one. I'm gonna open it up 
and try to do a look with what I got. I never realized how hard it is to get stuff from the clearance section because the colors that they have in the clearance section are definitely not ones that I would normally gravitate towards. So I think it is cool that I got some stuff that I wouldn't normally use because who knows what look I'm gonna come up with right now. And let's get into this video. I have my rose. I have like huge glass of rosé right now. I was looking for wine. I've been getting into wine these days, but I realized I don't really have any. I only have champagne from like the ones that brands give us. So I poured me some champagne and we are gonna do this whole video. Cross your fingers that I create a, a look that looks good with this stuff because it's very random. Oh God, this is not good. Okay. So the first thing I am going to pick up is this right here. This is from Alba. It's a shine control coconut water. It doesn't say that it's a primer, but it says it's good under makeup. It goes on matte, leaves your skin powdery soft. I've never really tried much from this brand. I've never tried anything from this brand actually. But hopefully this helps me out because right now it still looks shiny. <laughs> While that's drying, we're gonna do foundation. For foundation, I got this guy right here, which I was really shocked that they had this brand. I wouldn't expect that this brand would be on clearance just because I always saw this brand as more of a prestige kind of brand. It's like a glass bottle. Like the packaging is very like heavy and luxe. Why does it look so dark? Karina tried it on and it was not even that dark, but here it looks freaking crazy dark. <laughs> oh my God, I'm blaming this on Karina. Oh my God. Let's see if we can blend this in. This does not have much coverage and I'm very shook. Okay, we have no coverage on our face. My skin looks super shiny, even though we have that like pore mattifying thing on from Alba. So this so far is not looking good, but I'm hoping that the concealer helps us out. So for concealer, we got the Maybelline Dream Illuminator Corrector in Moyen. So this is the only color they had, this was medium. Oh great, we have no coverage. <laughs> For contour, we have the Maybelline Superstay. What is it called? That's what it says. Everything else is in a different language. But we have this guy and it's in the shade Mocha. It reminded me of the Fenty Matchstick, but not really. Oh my God. Everything is so shiny. Oh Lord, wish me luck. That was really, that had like a really nice texture. It like flowed on the skin really nice. Let's see how it blends out and why it was on clearance. I mean, I don't understand. The only thing that I'm noticing so far is that the coverage isn't what it says on the bottle for that foundation. I see this foundation working really nice as just like a natural summer glowy foundation. So I don't see this color as being a contour for me. It's definitely more like a bronze. Okay, I look like a Oompa Loompa. I'm gonna add some more concealer because this is really <laughs> taking over my whole face. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not happy with the way my face looks right now. And I can't believe it on Karina because whenever you blend this in, it actually does kind of blend into your skin because there's no coverage. So I look very <laughs> orange. We're just gonna move on to the brows because at least my brows will look okay. Wish me luck on that too because we're using a crayon. For the brows, we are going to just use this crayon. Oh my gosh, this might be a fail video. We're using the Maybelline Brow Drama Crayon Pomade. Now with this, I feel like you can use a brush, but let's just use it how they packed it for us. So it has a point. Um, somebody help me. This is, this is terrible, you guys. We're gonna use the blade brush from Domini Cosmetics. I'm gonna take the blade brush and hope it saves me. The pomade is so light that it just easily moves, doesn't stay put. I'm gonna use the pigment brush just to clean up the brow. Okay, that looks a little better. Just gotta use an extremely light hand with this and a brush. All right, okay, that seems okay. Let's just try to get the other one to match. <laughs> oh my God, my brows are really off right now. Like they're just in another area code. Okay, this is something that is not gonna give your brows a lot of coverage and it's gonna probably wipe off if you accidentally touch it. Say that this product is not my favorite. It's not like practical for me. So I'm gonna move on from my brows two hours later and we're gonna go into the eyes. Actually, I 
want to set my face because my face looks extremely shiny right now. Do you see this? Am I blinding you <laughs> with my face oils? I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just grab some of this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Creamy Natural. I'm gonna set right under my eye and hopefully brighten this area too. Oh, thank the Lord. We are bright and not as shiny. Okay, because I'm so shiny, this is the first time I want to powder everything on my face. So I'm gonna take this side. I don't know what sponge this is, but it's pretty nice. I'm gonna take this side and just bake my whole face. Is this even baking since it's pressed powder? No, it's not baking. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna put down the powder and move on. We're gonna go to the eyes. So for the eyes, I actually have this number seven bronzer right here. And I'm gonna take a brush right here. I'm just gonna swirl it in and work that in the crease. While we're here, might as well bronze our face. So I'm just gonna take this and bronze it up. Okay, I just look like I got back from Cabo, from Bora Bora. I look like I got a tan. Next, we are gonna go into the Maybelline Expert Wear in Bold Beige. Big clearance sticker. Mind you, this is already broken, so that's probably why it was on clearance, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna take that color on my lid and my brow bone. In my brow bone. And we're just going to pop it on. It barely shows up. I'm using the packer brush from Dominique Cosmetics to pack this in. For the eyes, what we have left is a purple liner, a regular liner with the moon. And we also have this gold lava palette from Pixi. And we're gonna just try to do what we can with this. So I'm gonna go in first with this. I'm gonna take this color right here. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna use the pigment brush so we can pick up all of that glitter. Why didn't I think of that in the first place? Picks up glitter and pigments so nice. This is a really nice glitter. I wonder why it's in the clearance, because it's really nice. It's like sticking to the eye and I don't even need any adhesive, so I don't understand why it's so inexpensive and in the clearance section. Okay, that glitter looks Pretty good. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more of a crease shade because it just looks like all I'm wearing is glitter. So I'm gonna take my crease brush, the crease blur, but we're gonna add some more definition in there. We also have this purple Maybelline Lash Drama Eyeliner. It's a matte liner. It's called Purple Rebel. This kind of reminds me of the Tarte Black Liner. It comes out the same way. Ooh, there's a little bubble. It also comes with this brush, which I don't think is a good liner brush. Maybe like for the inner corners. We're gonna try to use it together. See what we can do with it. Ooh, my eyes are starting to burn. But this looks pretty cool. This wouldn't be a look that I would normally do unless I had to be in this type of situation to create this look. So I guess it's a good thing to kind of go out of your comfort zone, go to the clearance section and see what you can find. I'm kind of happy that I did that because I don't think I would have done this look without the clearance section guiding me. And this brush isn't bad. It's actually not a bad brush to do your eyeliner with. Okay, I actually like the way this turned out so far, but we also have another black liner, this one right here from Starlet Studio. And we are gonna go over it just to make sure that we have like a nice definition on our eye. We are gonna put on some mascara, because that's all we have left. So I'm gonna use this Revlon Volumizing Mascara. The shape is definitely a little more different than the picture of the box. It was more like, Curved. This is not as curved. It's curved, but it's not like crazy S way, but we'll put it on anyways. I didn't see any eyelashes that were on clearance. So what I'm gonna do is just use my natural, like whatever lashes I have, and then we're gonna ignore that they're not from clearance section. Just for the sake of the look, it won't look the same if I don't have lashes, you know? All right, so we have mascara on. I'm gonna put some lashes on off camera because they are not you know, in the circle of clearance friends. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the lashes and I'm actually really liking this eye look right now. We have lips left. That's all we have left. We have, oh, I forgot to highlight my face. For highlights, I almost forgot, but we're using the L'Oreal Infallible Illuminator. This is in the shade Slay in Rose. I'm just gonna take some on my finger like this and pop that on down the nose. All right, so now I'm gonna do the lip liner from Maybelline. This is the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Almond Rose. I didn't put that much on because I got two lips and I didn't realize I got two lips. We got this one from Rise and Roar. It's a lipstick that looks like this. Cute packaging. The 
color is okay. Or we can use this one, the one that's from L'Oreal. It's in the shade I Radiate. It's a bright orange. I think I'm gonna do this one. The way I'm gonna put this on is very lightly. Sometimes you can just go in. Let's just see how light we can go with this. It almost feels like water on your lips. Like I'm just putting water on my lips. It's so light. That doesn't look crazy orange either. I wonder if I can get it bright orange. I don't even think it goes that bright orange. This is actually not a bad color for summer, but I wouldn't have chose to do anything on the eye if I was wearing this. It looks so much scarier in the tube than what it actually looks like on the lips. Wow, I think people were just scared. That's why this was in clearance. People were scared of it, but it's pretty cute. Now I'm gonna try some of this just so I can be fair. Put it over it. That is better. I'm actually gonna use some of this highlight in the center of my lip just to diffuse it a little bit. Now we are done. Am I happy? Completely no, to be honest. I like the eyes. Wish I had more eyeshadow <laughs> to play with, but I like the way it came out. It's interesting. Would I wear it like this again? Probably not, to be honest. My face looks really oily, even though I put on that Stay Matte Powder and I haven't even finished with this video, which is, I've only been on for probably like 30 minutes or an hour, that my face is a little itchy in this area right now. So I can't wait to take this makeup off. <laughs> but this is the final look. How do you think I did? Leave it in the comments. Don't be afraid, I can take any comments. So I really wanna get your honest feedback. How do you think I did? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a big thumbs up at the bottom. And I had a burp, sorry. And if you haven't checked out these two videos, click on them, see if you missed it. And that's pretty much it. I just wanna let you guys know before I let you go is to be happy with yourself. Be happy with who you are, as you are, weird, awkward, funny, pretty, just be happy with it. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.